The endocrine system is made of the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenal glands, the pancreas, and males. Now I'm going to point out the major organs in the endocrine system. Here we have the hypothalamus and the pineal, the pituitary gland, the parathyroid gland, the thyroid gland, the thymus gland, the adrenal gland, the pancreas, the ovary in females, and the testes in males. It's a hormone responsible for muscle mass, bone mass, sperm cells, and sex drive. It's found in both males and in females. In males, it's produced primarily in the testicles, but it's also produced all over the endocrine system. And in women, it's produced in the endocrine system as well. Low testosterone in males, also known as hypogonadism, can be caused by a testicular disorder and it can also be caused by diseases that affect the pituitary glands and the hypothalamus. In both genders, low testosterone can be caused by diabetes, obesity, underactive glands, etc. etc. A low testosterone in males, also known as hypogonadism, can be caused by a number of things, such as disease, testicular disorder, and many other things. In both genders, low testosterone can be caused by conditions such as obesity, diabetes, underactive glands, and a number of any other disorders. Some symptoms of low testosterone include change in sleep patterns, reduced sex drive, sexual dysfunction, infertility, emotional change, decreased strength, and weight gain. Testosterone treatment is done regularly across the world. It's much more controversial in older men and when taken in the form of steroids. There are several ways low testosterone therapy can be administered. A patch such as Androderm is very easy to apply, usually applied once daily. Gels can be applied directly to the skin. Testosterone can also be taken in the form of a direct injection. Pellets can be injected into your soft tissue and slowly release testosterone. Thank you.